Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is quite possibly the last episode in the campaign. We are so close to commencing the siege on Palmberg with the trebuchet being finished. So if you have enjoyed this series at any point, please be sure to drop a like down below as it will just kind of be really awesome if we get the most amount of likes on this entire series on this final episode. It'd be really, really cool. So we are currently playing on patch 1.3. Uh, the new one, they went ahead and dropped, dropping, I think, something like 300 new bug fixes, making combat a lot harder in the late game. So that's going to be interesting to see if we can one-hit people now with our overhead swings, which we're just demolishing the opponents, uh, as well as just kind of, you know, helping out with a load of quests and stuff. So I wanted to come back here and see if we could persuade this guy to come now to the actual camp, because before it was kind of bugged, we failed the previous quest, so we didn't want to go. Uh, so we wanted to just come back and see if we could convince him to come now that the new patch has come. Maybe that has fixed it, and obviously it'd be great if we could get him to come just to help out in the camp. About that weeding. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Whoops, wrong one. That's, no, 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 that's not a jump for me. Ignore me. Uh, cool. I'll come to ask for help. Again? Such trying times we live in. God is testing us all. So what is it you need? Their lordships have laid siege to Talmberg, and the brigands have wounded Sir Divish and many other people. I'm to ask if the monastery might send someone to help. These are tragic times. Fortunately, I have only a little work left to do here, so I'll gather my things and set off for Tongberg. Thank you, Father. May God reward you a thousand times. Awesome, so we can actually get to him now. I guess I must have fixed that in the latest patch. Now, the only thing we have left to do is wait for the potions to be brewed. I mean, to be fair, I think I already brewed, like, did do that. Um, I just need to go hand them in to the quartermaster maybe and tell him that I've got the potions or that the potions are on their way. So again, let's head our way back to Townberg um, after just quickly turning off this raider quest as well. So let's go back to Townberg and I think all we then have to do, um, if we go back to map, then I think all we have to do is just simply wait out until the trebuchet is built. I mean, granted, this will kill some time. Uh, then it's yeah, then it's just another day and then the siege will commence. God damn, I'm really excited for this battle. Um, and also I've heard that there is a bit of a cliffhanger at the end. I don't know what's going to happen, but I imagine we'll be seeing Sigismund again very soon because obviously we haven't seen him in so long, you know, obviously since the beginning, part one and part two, I think were the last couple of times we saw him. So I think it'd be amazing to, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I think it's probably a hundred percent sure that we will see him again. So as you can see, it's, uh, not great. Where are the guards out here? Probably further down, right? Yeah, wait, where are the guards? Are they further down there? God, and what the hell are you doing? Yeah, you can see they're like scouting around there. Just roaming around by yourself? Any lone archer could take you out, Lord Hanish. Greetings. Do you need anything whilst we're here? Sir, I met the parish priest of Ujit, and I must say he's a very... I should say so. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've already done this before. I was just wondering, wondering if that was anything. So let's go. Uh, I think we need to go to two of the camps because I want to go back to uh, the other lord, the guy who got shot in the arm, and go tell him that we brought everyone. And I think his camp is up here to our left. And then we'll go... No, it's over here, is it? I can't remember. Where... No, I think his camp's, like, here, maybe? Because this is the trebuchet one right up there. So, yeah, I think his camp is the other direction. I want to just go tell him, make sure there's nothing else that we can do to make sure that this siege goes as perfectly as possible. Um, and again, you know, I'm sure the battle won't take us an hour long. I'll, I'll, I will be, look at everyone just scouting around, skulking. And it's a thunderstorm as well. That'd be a pretty epic environment to have a uh, siege battle in, I'm not going to lie. And there were a few raids as well I, I've, I've heard of that they, the soldiers were saying. We have been raided here and there, so we need to be a little bit careful. Obviously, I imagine they're going to try and, and counter-raid us, probably. Yeah, nice. There's the father. There's Hans. <laughs> Hans coupon. God, maybe Sir Hans is in on the, the thing, and he's in League of the Bandits. Because, again, if you guys remember, actually, there was talk about there being troubling times about really? the handover between what the kingdoms. Um, so I've arranged for a priest to come. I've arranged for a priest to come. He promised to take care of the people around here. Thank you, Timmy. Lifting the spirit can help us all. Perfect, and then say this. I got hold of a sawbones to take care of our wounded. Thank you. Most of them have already lost their homes. Their lives are all they have left. Perfect, so we've done everything like that. 
And great, let's get our horse then and let's go back to the main trebuchet siege camp. Uh, oh no, not the main trebuchet siege camp, the one over there. Come on, horsey, over here. There we go, perfect. And um, we'll let's go talk to the quartermaster, and then we can just nap. Up, then we can just nap our way over to when the equipment's built. Because I don't think we literally have anything else to do. Um, there he is. Look at him just jogging. Welcome to the, the camp, my dude. You're just you're just you saying bolting it, aren't you? Sort of random horse just in the middle of the road there. Uh, there's obviously a lord's horse. Don't know who's though. Does look like uh, that's uh, Hanish's horse. Yeah. So the quartermaster should just be here. We still have the option to wait for the potions to be brewed, but I mean, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm sure we did that last episode, did we not? Just need to find the quartermaster really quickly. I mean, we could just sleep as well, but I don't want to sleep and then. Like something happens, like a cutscene happens, and then we can't do this. So I just want to obviously double check. I think originally, yeah, he's over there sitting down, so easy enough. And then we can just go and sleep. Do not talk to you, my oh, dude. Huh, I guess we'll just wait some time then because maybe we do have to go and pick up the potions back up. But I could have sworn we did that last episode. I mean, we'll wait, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we'll probably need to eat up at the camp as well, you know, properly have siege life. And hopefully all this time as well, the uh, trebuchet is being built as well. I think uh, I think they said that it's going to take two days, and this is our first day. So I guess we're in no rush, but I assume they're going to try and stop us from building it, because, I mean, like at least at night time they're going to come out and try and do what we did to them when we snuck into the castle. Oh, okay, we have to go get the bruise. Okay, 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 good. Which is just up here, it's not really a, a far distance, so we can definitely do that. Hello, horsey. There you are, perfect. Great. Sorry, I, I could have sworn we did that already, but I guess yeah. not. But that's fine, you know, you know, it's only it's really gonna take us, you know, like three, four minutes to pick them up. So if you guys are like, oh Jackie, come on, this is boring, I just wanna see the siege, don't worry, we'll get to it, and as long as there's not like crazy like a load of more stuff to do, I will uh, be sure just to keep this like you know if this is an hour and ten minute episode then it's an hour and ten minute episode you know I'm not going to try and cut this into two or something obviously if it gets like close to like and at two hours then I will cut it up but I doubt it will I think we'll just do this literally then wait and then we'll be good to go to the, the final stuff I finally got that turning as well are you guys proud of me every single time we go down there I always mess it up well, this should be literally all we need now. God be with you, Henry. And to you. And we can pick up the rest of our gear as well and be ready to go. So, is the concoction ready? All done. Here, take the keg. I won't be lugging a heavy great thing like that around myself. Thank you for your help. Well, best of luck, lad. Now, I need a rest. Awesome. So that's everything done. Just need to hand this in. We'll hand this in, pick up our gear, sleep, and then be ready to, um, I guess, ready to siege Townberg. I can't wait to see this trebuchet shooting. It's what, 70, is that the meme? 70 kilogram rocks. Uh, sorry, yeah. Oh, whatever. I messed it up. Let's just pretend like that never happened, eh? I embarrassed myself in front of all of the trebuchet enthusiasts out there. And also, it's hilarious, there's actually a, a trebuchet reddit, and it's actually really popular as well. I mean, what's not to love? Trebuchets are life. They're, they're amazing, monstrous contraptions. They are pretty yeah. awesome. Especially because when you, like, play Warhammer and you get to play as Bretonia and you have them trebuchets, it's, it's awesome. Especially the holy ones as well. They're always pretty cool. Come on. God, there's not really a lot of, like, patrol at the gate. You'd think you'd have a few yeah. more men post out a sentry, and not, like, these veteran soldiers either. Oh, the trebuchet! You can see it's getting built, boy! That's awesome. First things first, so we need to go pick up the rest of our gear and make our way in. Yeah, you guys also did point out two episodes ago all my money was actually in the chest, and I just forgot about it, which was kind of funny. 
Who am I giving this to? You? Captain Bernard? Yeah, I am. Okay. I thought I was going to give it to the Quartermaster, but I guess Reading's not. good night. Um, maybe this go. ought to help with your sleepy soldiers. What's in it? It stinks to hell. Yes, and it's hellish potent, too. A drop in the evening, that Pope and you fall asleep till just before noon. Really? I hope it does the job, that it doesn't give them a run in the process. Hopefully not. But if it does, well, it's hard to sleep with the runs, isn't it? True enough. But you're not much good as a guard when you're squatting in the bushes. Awesome. We also leveled up a ton on herbalism and alchemy. Not that it's really going to help us. Uh, do we have a traffic? Have Let's see. Bastards do. Bandit here for some reason. Uh, cool. Let's go and um, pick up the rest of our stuff then. And get ready for battle. I guess we'll go back up to the main camp. Um, so our gear's over here, right? Yeah. You don't need anything else, right? No, you don't. Yeah. Cool. So let's just gra grab our gear. We'll get the best gear possible. Because um, there's a chest piece I want as well. I believe it's in one of the chests over here. Like this one. Was there a chest over here? I swear there was. Maybe it was in here. Wait, is all our gear gone? No, it must be in one of these. They kind of just have, have stolen all my gear. Maybe I just forgot to get it. That sounds like something I would do. I mean, not that it really matters. Our gear is fine as is. Oh, no. no? I mean, yeah, not in there. Well, that's the one we lockpick by mistake. Yeah, yeah. Am I being stupid? There was a chest here at some point, and now it's gone. You know what? It honestly doesn't matter too much. I can't see it around. I mean, our gear is fine. I wouldn't mind having it a bit cleaner, but what can you do? Yeah, the chest is gone, I, I swear. Yeah, oh, oh, well, I mean, it's not the end of the world. How's our weapons looking? We do also have a few armor kits as well. I guess we can repair everything. Um, yes, we'll just repair everything we're wearing. That human helmet doesn't really matter. Uh, Weapon-wise, that can just go there. The dagger, we can stay. Armor-wise, obviously, we want to make sure we're wearing the best stuff, so that can go. That can go. Well, that's actually a little bit better. Really? Just by one. I mean, I guess we'll wear it. Um, that's all okay. We obviously need to wash ourselves a little bit. So I guess that will go. That will go. Uh, spurs can go on to help with our horse. That's still repaired. That's everything, right? Actually, knightly spurs are probably better than the silver spurs. Is that everything we have to muster? Just double checking. We also have two swords, which is pretty goddamn dope. But none of this stuff is going to be better for our armor. Nope, all oh, looks good. Any good potions we have, which we want? I mean, we'll take these potions, because they're good for, like, dispelling wounds and stuff. Don't need the digestive. Moonshine. Don't really need to get drunk. Okay, I think we're good. We'll take the armor kits just in case we need to repair mid-battle. The sword could do with a repair, so can we repair that with our kit? Sorry, again, you know, I'm sure you guys want to just see combat, but... These are small armor kits. Do we have any black... I mean, we can just go and sharpen it really quickly. Don't you guys worry. We'll be getting to the good stuff very, very soon. This is a shame there's not a blacksmith here, so I can't uh, get him to do it. Let's sharpen this sword up. Remove the blood. It's going to get very bloody, though. Okay, that should be more than enough. And now let's just head our way up to the uh, to the, the siege camp and and take a little nap or at least wait. We'll wait, sleep, wait, sleep. You know, I don't want to. I want to see the trebuchet being constructed in case you know there's any attacks or anything. Because they must know if you know if we're willing to build a trebuchet, they're going down. You know, they're like cornered rats right now. So their only way if they can destroy the trebuchet, that's going to buy them some time. Maybe they'll send out scouts, you know, requesting Sigismund's help or something. Who knows what will happen. They'll do some foreign oak and shield shit. I love look at that bad boy being built is awesome. I mean we've got some good defenses around it and we've definitely encamped trenches and stuff, so. Oh, 
look at that bad boy. Oh, it's just a villager. We don't want to talk to him. I wanted to talk to... Good health, dear. Yeah, yeah, go away. I wanted to talk to the uh, Master Craft. Just see if he needs anything else. God bless you. Master Fayfar, how's the trebuchet construction going? Much better now that I have Master Kiza to help me. Although, to be quite honest, it's more a case of me helping him. I'm taking note and learning as I go. Next time round, you'll be the Siege Master. I rather hope they won't be here next time. Yeah, me too. Um, let's see how much longer it'll take. How much longer do you think it will take? I wouldn't like to hazard a guess. As I understand it, the base is quick to make, but the other parts are more complicated. And then there's all the balancing and setting the trajectory and range. I see. Well, I hope it's ready soon. <laughs> so do I, Henry. Awesome. Let's just wait some time then and uh, keep on going. I mean, the base does look pretty good. So let's just wait until, I don't know, like night time so that we can see if there is any attacks. Um, and then we'll just sleep until day, obviously. Do you need to eat as well? But there's always pots lying around. Because I doubt the bathhouses are in service right now. I mean, I'm sure that'll be that'll be enough time. I guess there haven't been any attacks, so we'll go. We'll just go to bed now. Obviously, after eating as well, as we are absolutely starving, we are famished, and we'll wash because we're filthy. I should clean us up a bit. Let's just sleep. I mean, this is a quite a lordly tent, right? Oh, oh yeah, they also made it so you can just save at any time now, or save and quit. Um, which I think is a good good change because I think a lot of people I think there should be an option like maybe like a mode like a hardcore mode where you do just um, You can just not save like and you have to do it like that But I think you know the average person just wants to you know, you know play for a couple hours and then leave Kind of like if you guys have ever played Metro uh, 2033 I think it's called you know, that, that's, you know, you have a hardcore mode where it's like completely realistic. Well, not realistic, but you know what, guys, know what I mean. Like, the game difficulty levels are put up. You don't get as much ammunition and stuff. Also, how is this bed only 50 comfort? Like, that's a, that's a lot of comfort just to be sitting around and not really doing, you know, like, this is a nice bed. It's a lordly bed. I'm pretty sure we're sleeping in Sir Hans's bed or someone's. But I guess we are a bastard lord ourselves. How's the equipment coming along? Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. No more food, though. There must be more pots around. I do need to eat and wait and eat and wait. There we go. More food there. And I guess we'll just keep, we'll just keep on waiting until it is complete, you know? Keep our food levels up. I'm pretty sure we do have some dried meat as well. But I'm excited for this. Hopefully you guys are. And I just want to say as well whilst we're waiting. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the channel with this upload. Like it really has been amazing. All the comments, all the likes. It really, really has. So if we could just smash the like button for this episode. The final one. It would be such a good like thank you. Like I would love it if we could break 700 likes again. I do, obviously that's a lot. You know at this point in the campaign for the final episode. But it would... Be amazing, just like that goddamn trebuchet, boy. <laughs> Unleash hell. Oh, we're watching a test day. Eh? Oh, look at that bad boy. Unload hell. Let's see how strong those walls are. Let it rip! <laughs> uh, that was just the first shot. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. I'll have the range in no time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, obviously. There's no rush. 
But that's going to scare them for sure. You know, even if it did fall short. Oh. What's this? Move. Move. Damn it, I have to is, get to Sir Divish. Is Sigismund coming? Sir, they're coming. There's no time. Someone bring water. Breathe, man. You'll be all right. Yeah, here he comes. Who's coming? There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Havel Medic is surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to sow with him. Oh shit, here we go, boys. So this is the guy who imprisoned that lord right there, Sir Divish, um, all that time ago. And obviously Lady Stephanie and everything. She told us about that in the second episode. Let's go, boys. Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many. And they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished. Just as Toth has been planning. The sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll rain buckets. Here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in Tambrook. It might just work. But we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talbrook. A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. Oh, I'm getting I'll goosebumps. To my men. We will be ready. Yeah, me goosebumps. And every time I see stuff like this, I just, I just think of the like what they can do in the Game of Thrones. My part in the battle, sir. I wanted to go with the Scalets, man. I need more than that from you. More, sir. If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive, and I'm wounded. Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander, but many of the men will be from Scalates. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? I mean you, Henry. But that is... I want to be in the vanguard. Now hear me well, Henry. There are whole cemeteries full of heroes who rushed into danger. And if the first human you meet runs you through, it won't be good for morale. Not to mention that Radzik would have my guts for garters. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But sir, I think I should... Quiet! Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should start to break, we need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep control of the men. Hmm. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. When you're ready, go and join the Scalots men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to retake. Awesome, let's get ready, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, I wonder if any of this stuff, because this is all locked, right? I was going to say, I just wonder if any of these chests do have my gear in, like it's been moved or something. Yeah, they're all locked anyway. I mean, whatever. I mean, I'm sure I do have a tent here, but... You know, whatever. We'll just quickly check. But yeah, as I was saying before um, that cutscene happened. Um, this is all not... Well, that stuff is better, right? I don't have steel anyway. Um, 
yeah, like it just it just reminds me of like how awesome a Game of Thrones is. Like I constantly keep making comparisons. Like imagine being the soldiers, you know, but uh, Rob went ahead and sacrificed for that battle so he could capture Jaime Lannister. And um, there's just so many awesome stuff they're gonna do. And look at this, the men are rolling out. We're ready. Oh, this is going to be absolutely amazing. So let's just go over. Where are we off to? Quite a distance, actually. But we are with the Scalitz men, so it's the Radzig soldiers. And we're going to be the uh, force charging into the rear of the enemy. I guess I won't be on horseback, uh, but we could get on horseback and charge into battle like a proper knight. I think the, the course combat, though, is a little bit more difficult. Um, and I want to be on foot so I can really excel. God damn it. God damn shrubbery. Oh my god, we're stuck. This is going to be my biggest foe in the entire game. We just have to go along the normal quarry, though. And let's just get this bad boy started. No more fussing around. No more livy living. Like, just let's just get stuck into it. We do have a lot of potions as well, which I might try and use, um, depending on what we have. Again, I don't want to, like, use anything too soon, but we have a lot of, like, good potions, which we can definitely use. And I think our armor and everything, like, this is the best armor we have. Right, there's nothing on a horse or anything. Um, just, again, I want to double check because this will be the last one. So there's no point. Like, how good is that? What if we repair that? Is that any good for Hungarian? I don't think it is. That could be okay, actually, to stick over my armor. Because I know it does go over over that if I go to it. It'll make me look a bit stupid, I think. But it does increase my armor quite a lot, actually. That increases my armor a lot. I think we're just going to wear it. You know, it's kind of cool having that stuff on, but I think it's just worth it. Um, just for the extra armor to make us as safe as physically possible. And then everything else is fine. Oh, we don't actually have any armor. Oh, God, we don't actually have any armor armor. Damn. Luckily, we have some here, but this, these aren't the best ones I have. God damn it. Oh, well, I mean, it'll do, right? It's not the end of the world. And it'll give me some armor. I would have mind. I wouldn't have minded to have a bit more, but you know, whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. We have our sword. We have a. I guess I'll take that as well, just in case we do want to switch to the warhammer. Not that I think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to stick with the sword. But we can switch to the warhammer if we need to. And we'll just take all of that. And yeah, let's let's go. We're ready. We're ready for whatever the enemy may throw at us. Swords are sharpened. I wonder how many men he's bringing as well. To, to resupply. I mean, surely like a handful. like At least like 40, 50 men probably. At least. Because I mean, we're only a couple hundred strong anyway. And that's one of the things I really like about the game. It doesn't try to make the scale massive. You know, like quite a few battles do. You know, they don't try and make the, the scale, you know, thousands upon thousands of soldiers. You know, this is just, you know, Bohemia. It was hard to levy a lot of soldiers, you know. The population wasn't huge around this time. So, you know, a couple hundred men was a lot in battles. If you ever watched, like, The Last Kingdom and stuff, they're not huge battles. Just a little longer. Look at us all. Hold. Hold. There they are. Easy. Easy. Look at their armor. Doesn't matter. Not yet. Oh my god. Hold, soldier. Easy, man. Shush, come on. Stay disciplined, soldiers. My god, my god. They're about to be engaged, I think, on the expecting us. First troops to the bridge. Break through. Vanguard to the left. And the rest, come with me. We'll flank the bastards. Hold the line. Let's go, boys. Charge! Grind those horses in that. We need to be careful because I don't want to take as much. I don't want to take a lot of damage. So we need to be very careful here. Push him back. Don't want to overextend either. But I want to take that guy with the mace because he's going to break through armor very easily. Make sure we get back. Again, overhead swings as best as we can. And if anyone falls off like that, we just need to kill them as soon as possible. 
So battles like this are so messy. We just need to make sure that we strike down. Again, that guy in full armor would be a great person to take down. Again, we're not supposed to do anything crazy. Just simply hold. I might change of a Warhammer. We're not really doing a lot of damage here. Come on, that's almost one down. He's so close to dying. Nice, that's one dead. Get pushed back by that dude with the axe. So the guys with the heavy head armor are really hard to break to break away. So this guy, Bo. Nice, countered him perfectly. A lot of these guys are very wounded. It's, yeah, the weakly armored guys are much easier to strike down, especially with these overhead swings. Only takes a couple of swings. I'm going to try and get this guy. Nice, there's another one dead. We're taking them out quite nicely. We, we obviously still lost from the battle as well. It's the, yeah, these heavily armored guys. Nice reinforcements! Beautiful, they smashed them. Perfect. That's another one dead. Surrounding them. Save that guy. Come on, I'll save my men from Scalets to smash on him. We don't do any arm damage to him. Oh, we're doing damage to him now with these ferocious rings. Yes, we defended the Ford. Perfect, man. What's going on with you? <laughs> Who are you fighting? I think that's supposed to show like a, a battle or something going on. We have to help them. Let's go. Look at the blood there. No time, Moto. Look, we need to reinforce the soldiers at the bridge. Yes, one dead. Perfect. Let's keep on pushing on them. I'm, I'm really scared, though. The trebuchet is going to be taken now from this. Yeah, they're getting surrounded. There's just nothing they can do. And we're killing a bunch of these dudes. Oh, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just killed my own men. Yeah, the trebuchet must be getting assaulted right now. Like, it would just make sense if it was. There's no time for flashy moves either. It's just like a, a slash. That's what all battles were. You just fucking hack at the person as best as you can. Here's their leader. <laughs> what? This boy. You should show a little more respect, Divish. You'll need it when you kneel before Istvan. Oh, <laughs> now the pup shows his teeth. Hmm. Istvan, you say? Not Sir Istvan? Or Lord Toth? Just how intimate are the two of you? I know him. He's Eric. Toth's captain and right-hand man. <sighs> Finally, some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet. Yep, knew it. A hundred percent knew that. Let's fucking go. Look how stacked we look as well in our armor with that thing. Where are the horses? Get us some horses. We'll ride there. I'm going to have to redo this fight as well with the lightsaber mod for sure. Are we going to have to make a choice who we save? Sir Radzik or Lady Stephanie? It has to be Sir Radzik, right? He's the lord. He's a military commander. Even unless he is in on it. I do kind of feel like Sir Radzik is in on the whole thing. And he's like part of Tuff's, uh, Toff's thing. But I honestly don't know. I feel like there's a good chance he is. But I don't know if I'm just being like trying to look for a twist where there isn't any. Or, or what. But that's kind of my guess. Because like one obviously they were talking when the attack on Scalets came. Two he kind of escaped Scalets when it was being besieged. Also three... Um, he rode into Townburg, you know, completely by himself, so I don't really know what to expect whatsoever. Also, this load time is taking for ages. Let's rush our way back. Can we get a horse? We can. Let's get on our fucking horse. Why would we not? Let's ride. I'll ride ahead. Oh, no, our horse. What? Oh, I guess we can't, maybe. Oh, my God, that's not a good sight. Come on. Can we not? Can we honestly not ride on this thing? 
no, it's just gonna kick me off. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, we need to get our bow and quickly catch up because we are somewhat behind. Luckily, though, we are fast as a fuck, boy. Put our sword away as well, maybe. Probably make us run quicker. Come on, we can get over here. Rushing. I don't understand why we don't have horses here because we are must be ready for battle. But I guess we do need every single man in combat. Because, I mean, a lot of the time, these lords would be on, on horseback, obviously. Because it's much more ferocious trying to take on an armoured goddamn horse and knight than it is anything else. There's only a handful of us left, but I mean, I saved a lot of the Scalic men. I'm glad that they're still all alive. Let's go. Oh, no. I hope that's from the inn and not from the burning trebuchet we're seeing. I mean, it was just it was to be expected, right? So they do something like this. Come on, boys. You need to be faster than that. We need to get back to... I mean, I'm going to get there first. I'm going to be the vanguard for the soldiers. The elite vanguard of me by myself. Are there soldiers fighting right here, right? There are. There are a few. I will slay you if it is what is needed of me. Let's go. Until reinforcements come, I will take you down. Getting hit quite a bit, but I did a lot of damage to that one guy. Reinforcements coming, that should be enough. Let's just dispatch this guy really quickly. Nice, we'll take these guys out. I'm going to carry on going, honestly. You guys got that. I'm going to carry on going, making my way up here. I've also got so many buffs as well going off on me. Yeah, you guys have got that. Yeah, you should be clearing up. More reinforcements coming along. Crap, crap, crap. How do we get up here? Oh, we pass here. To the trebuchet, quickly. Yeah, the trebuchet is over here to the left. It's right there. I'm coming. Hopefully, they'll be able to make it here in time. Oh, God damn it. Let me get over. There's going to be plenty of more men probably guarding it. We did say we'd leave. I think we did leave Captain Bernard here to defend the trebuchet. So, important work. And he's obviously a very well-trained fighter. So, reinforcements have come. Let's go. This unlikely armored guy will be the one I take out first. Oh god, I got hit pretty brutally there. Make sure we don't go down. Okay, these guys are armored, but... Get our energy back, obviously. Nice, it's another one dead. We also leveled up as well. Might see if we can pick anything up. Now, this guy is heavily armored. It will be hard to break through, but... Let's try and push him off, because I want to duel this guy and actually do some moves. Doesn't look like he's going to let me, though. Oh, God damn it. We've got, just got soldiers coming in and swinging. We just keep on going overhead, I think. I mean, let's try. Let's try to do some moves. Oh, just kill him, okay. No surrender, you bandit scum. Where's your sword gone? Have you dropped it? You have? What the hell are you doing, my friend? Pick your goddamn sword up. I think something that would be great. Oh, yeah, the boys are turned up now. Perfect. Don't worry, we have it under control. Oh, there's still more fighting, though. But at least everyone else has turned up. I think something that would be really cool for this game if there were more finishing moves, like animation kills. Obviously, it's not as, like, realistic or anything. But it'd just be really cool to have them. You know, like, especially when you're 1v1 dueling. Like, it'd be really cool just to end someone, like, slice off their heads or something. Because, again, I don't think that's too unrealistic. Just have, like, finishing moves would be really nice. At the moment, I am just swinging. And it's like, yeah, cool, I'm killing people. But even still. Nice, we did it. 900 groschens as well. I'll take that. Come on, let's commence the siege already. Oh, that's brutal! We must have killed a lot of their soldiers as well. They must not have a lot in the siege camp. Well, 
Uh, the damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot? Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? Sir, I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? He was the captain at Vranjik, and he brought Istvan's reinforcements here. Seems to be on very, um, intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. And he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godson, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son, and then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. That was awesome. That was really, really cool. Dig that a lot. Destroying the briefing. We saved. Our health is fine. We're a little bit wounded, but nothing too crazy. I guess we'll just wash and then go there straight away. Because, again, I don't want to just drag this out as much. If we can, then I wouldn't mind you know, finishing in this episode. But if worse comes to worse, you know, this will just be an hour and a half long episode or something, Stop you know. talking. <laughs> let's go. Do your work. God bless you. Oh, no, I, I want to start it. Come on, let's go. Ah, Henry, just the man I want. This fool the Lord be praised. You know more about him than we do, so maybe you can get something out of him. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. You need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you'd better think carefully about how you answer them. Okay, cool. So we beat him. Okay, the best one is our threats, right? Because that's one's definitely going to beat him. How many men does he have in the castle? Enough to thrash you all. Who is this Toth? He's the one who'll string you all up from the tree. Yeah, nothing's going to pass here. What is he after? For you to... Yeah, this guy isn't doing anything. How did you meet him? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> yeah, I guess we fail everything. Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. You better pray he will for your own sake, because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? Okay, that's unfortunate. I, I don't know if, obviously I'm sure there was ways we could do that, but we had like four more marshal than him and he still said no. So maybe that, you know, it's really hard to do stuff like that. But maybe if you do find out, like, maybe he's like playing really close to him and we can use that to our advantage. It's a shame, but, you know, we've made it this far. I will waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. He'll come for me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Now I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? <laughs> Could it be your lovers? You'd never understand. For a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him. But it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. Anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. And he believes Toth cares about him. You'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Well, Divish. I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Alice. So be it. 
I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. Here we go, I guess. Let's go and do it. I feel like we ha he'll give us one, I think. And I think we'll have to make a hard choice. But it has to be Sir Radzig. Like, he's the military commander. He's a lord. You know, Lady Stephanie is obviously very precious. She's an extremely nice person. But in the grand scheme of Sir things... Istvan. Like, she is just a woman. And I know that's what bad to it? say, but at this time... Did our neighbourly visit catch you unprepared? A little. But we've settled in nice. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry. Greetings, friends. <laughs> Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it in anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. Yeah, so at least you bought them some time, I guess. Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks, while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, He'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Jobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Jobst, you say? All right. Mm. What is he doing here? Who's Jobst? Jobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund in the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Jobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while, and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Awesome, completed that quest. Let's go. Is it just this. come to him when we're ready to attack? And the extra men have arrived as well. Guess we just say fuck it and let's go. Can we talk to him? Yes, I'm ready. I'm glad you came. At your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I think you should have the honor of the first shot. I'll be delighted. To smash my castle? I can't say I share your enthusiasm. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I didn't mean it like that. There's nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. All you have to do is pull the lever. Well, I suppose I could manage that. Then we'll bombard Talmberg for several days. 
Sir Robard will explain what comes next. Yeah, so a lot of the time, like in movies and stuff, you see it and you just kind of, you know, people like in the movies, you just see them fire it and then, you know, the wall crumbles. But like realistically, you know, it's the same with cannons as well. They took a long time to smash down breaches. You know, armies would be in camp for weeks, just constantly bombarding day and night to try and take down, you know, these huge walls. Um, how do I shoot it then? Oh, the men are loading it. Like here, right? Is everyone in position? What is it? Oh, they're loading it now. Load up the trebuchet, boys. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. And then we can unload hell on it. I mean, it's a thunderstorm as well, so it's not exactly like it's uh, great weather, but we will bombard the walls, try and make a breach. I think we're aiming for the gatehouse, and then we'll pour through there. But it's going to be hard fighting. You know, Townburg is not going to be an easy fortress to take. You know, it's close quarter combat. I mean, a lot of the time, these castles like this were meant to be defended, not by a ton of men. Like, the less men, the better. Some of these castles, especially similar size to this, could be defended, you know, by 20, 20 odd men would be able to hold the walls because the, the pathways are so narrow, it's really hard to use your weight of numbers. So, you know, a couple soldiers would be good because you could have a lot of supplies to hold last out in a siege. Welcome, Henry. Welcome indeed. You're going to go pick up that huge boulder now. Surprised you can fucking lift it, man. Yeah, look at him go. <laughs> Just about lift it. It looks like it's already loaded, my dude. Oh, is that just another one ready to go? Or is it just, I mean, it's just glitched out. Come on, you can do it, man. I believe in you. I believe in you. There we go, loaded. Can I unleash hell quite yet? Please say I can. There we go. Shoot it. Oh, that feels so good. Do I hit? Looks like I hit. The bombardment continues, I guess, for a long, long time. As he said, several days. And the men are cheering as well. Divish said... Sir Divish. Sir Divish said you tell me what happens next. I, We're going to watch Istran shillings. That's all? For a few days at least. So if you have anything to attend to, now's the time. Just don't forget to come back. <laughs> we just go and never come back. You anything else for us to do? Because I think I'm, I'm ready. There was precious little in it and we could have lost everything. That's how it goes in war. But God stood by us. And in the end, they're nothing but a bunch of filthy cutthroats. They're sneak thieves and assassins. But does that make them real soldiers? Well, they're apt to wait till a man nips off into the bushes to relieve himself, lifts up his chainmail tunic and stab him in the back. Personally, I'd rather face a proper soldier. Because you know just who you're up against. That's probably why Toth is giving us such a hard time. Is something the matter? A few of them have taken to their heels. If they stop in Kutenberg, I'll be glad enough. But I fear they may have other plans. If those were the best of Isvan's men, they could be lurking in the woods. They'll probably wait to attack us at the worst possible moment. <laughs> My fear, exactly. I won't breathe easy until... until Toth is hanging from the gate. But in the meantime, I'll be glad to know the woods at my back are clear. Can I count on you? Of course, Sir Robert. Would you like me to bring back their gear as evidence they're dead? That's not necessary. I trust you, Hal. You don't even have to do the killing. Just let me know where you find them and that'll be that. There's no need for you to get hurt in the process. Okay, cool. Let's do that then. Let's do that whilst we're waiting. You know, there's no... I guess... I guess we will... What? Is there a quest, a quest mark for us or not? I mean, that's elsewhere, right? 
He didn't even give us a quest, so I guess I guess we will just wait a couple days then. <laughs> Two long days sleeping in his bed. So as I said, we didn't get a quest marker, so I don't really know where they are, and I don't want to just waste my time. So let's just sleep a very, very long time. Obviously, we have to wait two days for the bombardment to finish before we do assault. We do have to obviously probably stop around here, get some food, because we are quite hungry. And we'll just go back to bed and just, just wait our way out. I think actually also if we just talk to him, we can probably just speed run this actually. Not speed run it, but it'll probably jump us ahead two days if we just talk to him, thinking of it. The men are still cheering, the bombardment must be going well. Yeah, let's just eat, make sure we're... we're we're ready to go. And I guess probably repair my armor as well. Yeah, let's repair our armor. I definitely should do that. Not that it, it really did like a crazy amount of damage, but repairing it would be good. God, yeah, this stuff got hammered. Wow. Do we have any more armor kits on our horse? We have a small blacksmithing kit, which would be good for our sword. No armor. Maybe I will head back because obviously we want to. Maybe I'll go. To... The body garment's been completely destroyed. Do we have a better one? I think we do, right? We also leveled up as well. Not there's anything too great for us at all. Yeah, I guess we'll just get a scout. Combat, we also leveled up. Oh, we leveled up with our sword. Not that any of these are good for us because they're all short swords and that stuff, which doesn't really matter. Um. We have no more armor stuff. Yeah, that doesn't work for any of these, right? Oh, it did work for that one. Yeah, we're going to have to go to a city then. Uh, where's the nearest one? I guess it is maybe Rote and just armor up and then come back. Rote is probably the best one. This will have a blacksmith, won't it? Does, it doesn't, no. So yeah, I guess the closest one is Rote. You have military camp, but not a blacksmith. Okay, let's just head back to Rote then. We have the time, we'll clean up all our gear, come back and ready to go. We'll have the time because it's obviously two days. Oh, we might need to sleep though, depending on when we get there. Because obviously they'll be closed at night time when it gets a certain time. But it's fine, we can just wait until the day. We're in, I guess, no immediate rush straight away. But it does look like this episode is going to be a long one. Granted, I, I probably cut out a bunch of stuff from the beginning of us just running around. So that, um, you know, so that we can, so that we get to the action a lot quicker and also so that we do this. I mean, I might even just be cutting this out and I'm just talking to myself. But I guess if you are hearing it, hey, I hope you're enjoying the video. Um, unfortunately, though, the stores will be shut by the time we get there. And we also, that cutscene? No, good, it's just loading. For a second, I thought we might be jumping into a cutscene and, like, the city would be getting taken down or something. That would not be good. Uh, so let's just go over here, we'll eat, we'll sleep, and then we'll go. Because there's camps here, so we can use that to our advantage. So let's just eat, and then we'll sleep. And then we will head ourselves into town, repair all our armor, make our way back to Townburg, and begin the siege, the final assault. And uh, hopefully we do get to this 1v1 that dude as well. Um... Because I would love to actually have a proper duel. We haven't really had a good duel in a long time. So it's very hard to do moves on people. And we've got quite a few moves to test, test out on. So. And yeah then just get all our armor repaired. I guess we can spend our rest of the cash. If there's probably, probably get some better arm stuff. Yeah we'll actually get some better arm stuff as well. Whilst we're here um, at, the, at the store. For sure actually. That's actually a really good plan. Because our arm is the weakest part of our get up. And if we can do that. We'll obviously get everything repaired at the tailor as well. And we'll just be raring to go. You know, this is obviously the final stand. We'll pop all our potions as well when the siege does happen. Hopefully, maybe there's some strength potions or stuff. You know, full plate armor, just having a nice little nap. Great. We eat from this again, we can't. That's fine, though. Come over here, horsey. We've got a lot of ground to traverse, and we haven't got a lot of time. This is the end of the first day, so we've got one more day, basically, before the siege commences. Hello, boys. Yeah, there's literally, there's only a handful of people guarding here as well. But, I mean, this would be, like, almost impossible to take, even still. Even with just a couple guards. 
Talking about dude, you coming in? So what are you doing here? What the hell was that noise? That was a very loud bang. I'm nervous that Rotate is gonna be like put on the siege or something whilst I'm here. <laughs> like Sigismund is gonna take this and just take the the castle. I hope I can be. Um. So what do we want to do? We want to repair, right? Yeah, we want to repair. Repair my stuff, my dude. So we want to repair everything apart from the arm stuff, right? We're gonna buy new ones. Yeah, select and cool, great. Now we just make our way down to the swordsmith or the armorer, buy new arm stuff, and then we'll head back to Townburg. That was a very loud noise, but I'm actually really curious what it was. It just seems so weird that, like, it just seems really weird that there was a huge explosion. <laughs> but no one seems to be fretting too much, so I guess it can't be anything too bad. Yeah, give me your best armor on my arms. Good day to you. And to you, sir. Um, armor, and then we want the most expensive arm ones. They're generally the best ones. So these ones, right? And we also need good padding, right? Body garments. What does body garments... Is, do I need to get that the tailor, or is it here? No, that's that. That's actually better as well. A lot better. I guess we'll pick that up as well. We have, see, like, a lot of money, so... And then that. Yeah, that's our best bet. Right? Yeah, this is the best. Let's just buy all of that. Again, it doesn't really matter because we're we're armoring up, so. Um, so let's pick that on underneath. Then we'll have this as well, giving us 51 slash defense. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And then the armor as well. Again, huge increase. And everything else can just piss off away. Put on my ring as well, why not? Oh, we're actually missing a, a, a thing for our head as well. What the hell? Um, yeah, let's just trade. We're actually missing like a, a, a headpiece. Buy that, I guess. <laughs> I did not realise we didn't have one on. Okay, now let's quickly just make it to the tailor, make sure we repair all them clothes we have, all the, like, the tailor-required stuff. Damn it, where are you? Come to work, you lazy so-and-so. You need to buy your goods. And then head back to the siege camp. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be awesome. There you are, great. About my repairs, my lady. Look, can you not even repair? Oh, God damn it, your husband or the man who works here is not even here. Where is he? I've not got any time to lose. We're just going to do this because it does it quicker. I mean, you must be here now, right? Okay, yeah, he's here now. Great. Let's speak to him. Let's get him to repair our, our, our clothes. God save you. Yeah, repair, repair, and repair. It's cheap enough. Now let's make our way down to the bathhouses. We'll clean, get all our clothes laundered, and then we'll be ready to head back. A clean night, ready for battle. Food would help as well, but there's pots over here we can eat from anyway. No, actually, no, actually going to the bathhouses gives us a, a nice thing. I'd laugh at Sigismund's army. We just ran into it right now, just pillaging this uh, town outside of Rete. I guess that wouldn't be too funny, right? <laughs> and we're just stuck here defending Rete. Okay, ladies, launder my clothes, get me back to full health. And what is it? Um, to the yeah, air everything. Uh, that can be a rain? Of course. Oh, I'm okay, we should be as clean as physically possible. We had to wait an hour for it to happen. That's fine, we have the time. And now we just simply head back to the siege camp. Because they said two days, we have plenty of time. We'll probably hit there on the, just the end of the second day. Perfect. Nice. What the hell is that sound? Like, is the trebuchet coming in and attacking us? Like, I'm heading back to the city because 
That doesn't sound good. Like, I just want to quickly explore this. Sorry, I know it might just be nothing, but that can't just be nothing. Like, there's a reason that's happening. Like, it sounds like we're getting hit by a trebuchet. Maybe, uh, surely there's no way you, no, there's no way you'll be able to hear that from Townberg. But no one's, like, acting like there's a big issue or anything. But Townberg's a long, I mean, maybe you would be able to hear it. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Do you think you'd be able to hear it? Because, yeah, no one's, like, worried. I can't see any armies or any fire or anything. So I guess maybe you can hear it all the way from here, but I mean that's a long distance for all the sound to travel, but I mean I guess it's not I guess it's not that long to be fair. Like honestly, it, the map the map looks a lot bigger than it is. It's probably only like a mile away. Maybe a bit longer than that, but again, like I don't know. I guess maybe you can again. I'll just ignore all of this. We just want to get back to the camp and get this battle started. Our armor is ready. And so am I, boys, and so am I. Probably want to go this close, though, <laughs> to the bombardment that's going on. Any stray rocks and we're pretty screwed. I guess uh, go up to the trebuchet, it looks beautiful. And hopefully it is constantly shooting. How's, uh, how's the city look out of interest? Oh, the archers are up there as well, skirmishing! That's awesome! That's great. That's really cool. We've got archers just volleying a little bit. Nice little skirmish. Trying to just clear the walls down. I mean, to be fair, I don't think anyone would be popping their heads out <laughs> after what they see. But I mean, we're ready to go. We've got all our armor repaired, our sword repaired. Yeah, the bombardment is still going on. Welcome, Henry. I'm here. Can't you see we're still bombarding? You can Guess we'll wait a bit more time then. <laughs> like, that should be good enough. I mean, we're still going to be hungry and stuff, but early morning, that must be two days. And then, yeah, then it's just uh, ready for the assault then. And I am most certainly ready for the assault. My blade is sharpened, my mind is sharpened, and we will bring these horse ons to pay and rescue our father, and also rescue Lady Stephanie. Okay guys, actually, I decided I'm going to cut this episode here, however, today is going to be a double upload, okay? I know I said I wanted to make this one long episode, um, but yeah, we're just going to double upload today instead, because again, I feel like there could still be like a good 45 minutes left of the game, and I want to talk about it through the credits and stuff. So I think what I'm deciding is I'm going to save it here, and we're going to go ahead and just double upload today. So in a couple hours, probably at 4pm GMT, the next episode will go up. You can check out the playlist down below in the description, and we'll finish this thing once and for all. So make sure to put a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Double upload is still coming later today, um, and I will see you guys there.